There's been concern among many people on the Democratic side about how Biden is faring. Uh, you took it up a notch, and I heard about this from people in Washington. I um, heard the White House noticed it. Uh, you said the voters don't want this. That's in poll after poll after poll. You can't look at what you look at and not feel apprehension here. That landed uh, in the New York Times. Obviously, like I mentioned, you speak uh, precisely for a reason. Uh, and here's some uh, more of what you said in a conversation on, on Bill Maher. Let's assume the election was November the 3rd of this year. Oh, and, and they said the candidates are Joe, Joe Biden, the Democrat, Donald Trump, the Republican, uh, Joe Manchin and Larry Hogan, no labels, and Cornell West. Mm. Trump would be a betting favorite, all right? Um, and so somebody better wake the f up. James, here's the question. Uh, do you think uh, President Biden faces a real risk of losing? Have you heard uh, from the White House at all about this? Uh, and what are your suggestions? Well, I have not heard from, directly from the White House. Uh, is there anything that I said that is not demonstrably 100 percent true? Of course not. And everybody is, is operating under the doctrine of strategic certainty. That is, it's certain that it's going to be Biden and Trump. So all of our strategic calculations are in that. Well, if we saw in Georgia today, this thing may be starting to unwind. If you look at the Iowa polling numbers on Trump, if you do a colonoscopy on them, they're not as good as they look on the surface. Mm. I mean, that, 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 there's trouble in that. And all I'm doing is telling people two-thirds to three-quarters of American people don't want this choice. And there's no... Don't want either of these nom uh, people as nominees? Right. Right. There's no factual mm -hmm. rebuttal. There's poll after poll after poll. And everything that I hear is predicated on, well, we're going to run against Trump and we're going to be Trump. Well, you're going to have a third party, and, uh, no labels, and you're going to have Connell West. You might have Bobby Kennedy as a libertarian. I'm just saying there's a lot of things that can go wrong, and it's not a certainty they're going to end up nominating Trump. He's an old man. He could be, any mental or physical thing could happen to him. He's obviously in profound legal jeopardy. Uh, so we don't know, but there's there's a lot to it that's going to go on between even now and the Iowa caucuses. But everybody is under the assumption that this general election is already set and done. Let's get get to work on that. And I, I just think there's a lot of football left to play here. Oh, I mean, a real lot. A lot, yeah. Um, and that's before you even get to Taylor Swift in the stands. Uh, we're doing <laughs> yeah, football. Well. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate it. I mean, look, I know I know there are people who are going to hear this from you and say because they don't like it, because it has an emotional impact on how they feel, they don't want to get into it. But that's not how you deal with reality and facts. It's certainly not how skilled people run campaigns, because you got to deal with a lot of stuff that you wish was a different way. So I appreciate your candor, uh, as you said, backed by facts. I want to show you, though, because, you know, we do how we do around here. Uh, here's some of the headlines. You're, what you said drew attention, as I mentioned, drove all these different headlines, anxiety and writ large, Carville specifically. And we heard from a former Democratic congressman who actually ran their congressional re-election arm, Steve Israel. I asked him about what you said. Here's his reply. You know, I'm surprised. I love James Carville, and uh, he's inspired me in many respects. But it surprises me that a Democrat would be uh, echoing Republican talking points. James? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say anything bad about a guy named after one of my favorite countries. You know, I did a lot of work. Work in Israel. You know, there's an expression in the Marine Corps, wish in one hand and spit in the other and see which one fills up the fastest, except they don't say spit. <laughs> so in deference <laughs> defer to the audience, in the higher muckety-mucks, I'm just going to say spit. But at, none of this is suggest that you can't win re-election, but you got to acknowledge what's going on. People are not excited about this choice. Trump's in profound jeopardy on many fronts. He is not a guaranteed certainty to, for, for the Democrats to run against in a general election. And, you know, if something is demonstrably true, then I feel like I got to say it. To not say it is. So the, who, the hanging who, question, who, James. Do anybody? The hanging Excuse question me? is that. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you. So the hanging question was what I alluded to earlier then. What is the solution? Are you proposing a, a wide open Democratic primary? Are you su su pr proposing a different ticket? I don't. I, first of all, I, I don't know that I have. It's my job to come up with a solution, but I, I think these are questions that voters have. 
and we're going to have to answer them. I mean, it's just not going to go away and just acting like, you know, getting people to tell James to shut up. Okay, that's not going that, yeah. to change. Well, you know, what, you know who agrees with you. James, I'm not changing sea level here. I'm just telling you what's, what's happening right now. This is a choice people are not excited about. We told, don't worry about it, because we will run against Trump, and he's going to be unacceptable and win the general. Well, I, you know, you know, when you put third, fourth, maybe fifth parties in there, you look at the uncertainties of American politics. All of this is asking people to take a, leap, a big leap of faith. And I think the president, by any measure, deserves re-election. I think he's probably had the most successful first three years, at least, and maybe anybody since Roosevelt, maybe even that. But people are apprehensive about this, and it's not going to go away by acting like, by wishing it away. Oh.